Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Tom Kitchen, and I am fixing up a salad for us today. Um, it's kind of dreary outside, and I'm just thinking of something a little bit more hearty and filling. And so this salad is actually a lentil salad. Um, we can pick up lentils pretty much at any grocery store. They're a very small uh, legume. Um, they cook pretty quickly, about 10 minutes in some salted boiling water. But if you're even looking for a uh, faster, uh, quicker, kind of go-to convenience factor, um, Trader Joe's has me um, set with this um, already cooked lentils in a bag. Um, they're pre-cooked, and so this is going to be the bulk of our salad. And so we can just take those and kind of toss those in, and they're already cooked and ready to go. Now. This recipe I got from um, a cookbook that a friend gave me. Um, it's from the island of Ikaria, and that is an island off of the coast of Greece and Turkey, and it is an island that we're actually planning a culinary excursion to here in, at Wild Time for next May of 2019. Um, our space is very limited, but we still have spots, and so if you're interested in that, definitely get in touch with us. Uh, but I'm going to keep going and show you this recipe and why the Mediterranean diet and their food is just so good for you and then so flavorful. Um, we're going to go with some red onions just thinly sliced and we've got a lot of fresh herbs and I think for me the fresh herbs are really what um, sh are showcased in Mediterranean cooking. I think it's really hard to even have a dish without having those herbs in it and then you see a lot of the olives, the nuts, the berries, um, a lot of vegetables and uh, just produce from the earth and so that's really where they get a lot of the vitamins and nutrients that they need. Uh, so we're going to continue to slice this one and then I've got a few other things that we're going to keep adding in here. All right, so a little red onion in there, and then we've got some fresh herbs. So I've got a lot of mint, of course. Mint is really um, widely used in Greece as well, um, and it just, to me, adds such a pop and such a nice, like, freshness to everything. And if you could smell this mint right now, it's really just so good. And mint is something that's easy to grow. Um, if you do have a garden and you have mint growing, I always recommend, whew, those onions are getting to me. I always recommend having them um, either in a pot or separated because they will take over the garden for sure. All right, so you notice I'm not really cutting the celery as much as I'm getting all the leaves off of it. My eyes are watering from those onions. All right, so we have just the celery going here, and then I'm going to chop up our celery leaves, and those are going to go in as well. Whew. If you guys are like me at home, sometimes those onions are just fierce. And I've tried every technique, every um, myth that's out there as far as how to get you to stop from crying. If you have one, send it to me because I've tried them and they do not work. All right, so I have parsley, celery, um, we've got our rose, uh, rosemary, we have our mint in there, and then our red onion, our lentils, and then we're going to add a bit of a vinaigrette, if I can stop my eyes from watering, um, with our red wine vinegar. So the red wine vinegar is going to go in here, and then we're going to kind of thin that out with a little bit of olive oil. From there, we're going to add some salt and pepper, and then um, we are just about done. So I'm going to mix this up, and then you guys will be able to get this recipe at our website at wtvq.com forward slash recipes tab. And if I can get rid of these onions, then we'll be in good shape. But you can find me at Chef Allison Davis and learn more at um, Chef Allison Davis at Instagram and wildtimecooking.com. We'll be right back after this short break.